Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how you can set up and use SharePoint Dynamic List Filtering. But before to jump in, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with my next videos. What is SharePoint Dynamic List Filtering? Imagine to have in a SharePoint page two lists. And you want to filter the second list when you select an item on the first list in real time. This is exactly the dynamic filtering. So you can build uh, various scenarios with two lists or three lists in one page. And selecting one item on the first list will filter the items in the second or in the third list or document library. It's very cool. But let's see it together. Let's go. Here I am on my PC. I have Microsoft Teams opened in the browser and I am in this general channel of the team IT. What I have done here is adding a new tab which embed a SharePoint page, a modern page. In this SharePoint page, I want to have an overview of my projects, more specifically the projects in my company and which team is following which project. For that, I'm taking advantage by leveraging the capability of SharePoint dynamic list filtering. I divided this page in two columns in the in this column I have a SharePoint list. As you can see I have all teams in my company and I can see also the team where is based. In this case marketing in USA, communication in Germany and so on. On the right I have a document library which contains several Word files. In every Word file, there is a description of the of the project. And I created here an additional column. This is a lookup column. And basically I assigned this document, this project to the HR. So I can see immediately more or less which team is assigned to a specific file. I can also hide this, this column if I want. Now, if I want to demo this functionality, I can immediately click on this item, for example. And as you can see, the document library filter the items. And I have here all items, all Word files that are assigned to the team IT. So I have a first look and I can realize immediately the engagement of this team. So if I click on marketing, I have these two items, these two files that are assigned to the team. Again, communication, HR, sales. So this is pretty powerful. It's very, it's very fast, this functionality. Now, how I set up this dynamic list filtering let me open now this page on SharePoint that I have here in this, this tab and uh, I'll show you immediately how you can configure this functionality. So you have to edit the page and uh, we have here split in two columns, one list web part and one document library web part. So as I said, we want to filter the items, we want to filter the projects in the in the document library on a selection on the first list so then you have to edit the document library you have to enable this toggle toggle button dynamic filtering then you have to select the column that you want to to use to filter the items team then you have to specify the list that contains the value that you want to filter, teams, of course, and finally the column, the column title. That's it. You can click on apply, update news, and we are good to go. If I select IT 
or marketing, HR. So I use a, this, this example just to show you how good is feature, but you can adapt this feature as you prefer. It's up to you. You can have also only one column and uh, you have a, a vertical view with a list, two list or one list and one document library. You can work also with a third list or third document library, but then you have to figure out how you can have a look of and how you can have a big overview of all these uh, items in the list then becomes a little bit more difficult but with two lists is feasible okay so now i would like to start from scratch to show you again how you can uh, set up everything so let me go back on teams i want to set up this new sharepoint page for this uh, channel for the global HR team. Okay, let me click on open in SharePoint. We are here on this other SharePoint site. So first thing that we have to do is creating a new list that we will call teams. Title, let me quick edit this list we are faster HR IT communication marketing sales it's fine so let me add now a new column and this will be country So we will select Italy, then we will type Germany. Portugal. UK, USA, and so on. I think it's fine. Now exit from the quick edit and we have this first list good to go. If I go back on the home page, I will click on again on the new button and I will create the document library now. So we will type in projects. Projects, it's okay. Okay, now I have luckily prepared some files here. I will upload all this file by dragging and drop these files on the document library. Okay, it's time now to create this additional column. I used for my demo a lookup field, which is very intuitive when you are in edit mode, but you can use also a single line of text. But of course you have to be sure that you type the right characters when you have to compare the value with the, the column of the, of the list teams. So we can click on more if we want to have more column available. I will type lookup, then I will type in team. The description is not important. Get the information from teams and I want to have in this column the title. Perfect. I would say that I can click on OK. And also this document library is ready. So it's time to create the page now, the SharePoint page. Let me start from scratch from a blank template. Projects dashboard. So then here in this section, I want to have two columns. It's okay. Then in this first one, we can remove this web part. I want to have the list, the list web part. And I will add 
the teams list. On this other, I can just type document library. Here we go. And we have projects here. Okay. So let me hide some column just to have a better overview. Modified and modified by it, it's not so relevant. Okay, let me quick edit this list. We have to assign some value here. Let's say HR, communication, HR again, marketing, then sales, IT, communication, sales, marketing, IT, communication, HR, and HR again. Okay, exit from the quick edit. I think that all data are in and now we can configure the, the document library and we can click on the toggle button enabling the dynamic filtering and we can select the team then we can select the teams list and we want to get the value of the title column for the list teams. So now closing this, I can also publish this page, post as news on the site, it's okay. There we go, now if I click on HR or IT, the dynamic filtering is working properly and the document library filters the, the items accordingly with the selection of the item in the first list. Okay, lastly, we can also embed this SharePoint page as tab by clicking on Add Tab. Then we have SharePoint here. I can pick up this page, Project Dashboard, and you can work easily also on, on Teams. So if you want to stay always on Teams, which is making absolutely sense if we think about that Teams is built to be one tool for one purpose. So we are always in Teams and we have these SharePoint features available. So pretty, pretty cool. All right, that was a quick tutorial how you can set up and use SharePoint dynamic list filtering. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay in tune with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and this is how I build my to-do list for next videos. I hope to see you next time, bye!